Hello, back again for another episode of the excitement in the garage. Standing here in front of Tori and I changed the oil in it. It has its mouth open saying, great fluid extractor in this video. So let's get started. With this, you get a couple adapters. You have one of these, which this you pretty much use with everything. And this little fella. This is for brakes. I this does do good brake bleeding. I did not do a video on it yet, but next time I bleed brakes, we'll do that. And you have two different of these, and it comes with a. I think it's probably like a three eighth hose, and this little quarter inch hose which like change the oil this is what's going to be going down in the dipstick tube. Just for setting this up to change the oil we're first going to use this. Pull on the top of the extractor itself just push that in. Yeah we want this one the one that's the same opening on both sides and that goes down in there and then after that I'm going to take this push that in there and we're going to take our larger hose and push on that and shove in the inside of the larger one which is a fairly snug fit okay now we're soon ready to extract alrighty I'm going to remove the dipstick and then put this hose down in where the dipstick went as far as we can. Alrighty, we go to shove down in. If you've noticed, I have the car sitting up on jack stands a little bit because this works by the principle of siphoning fuel or anything. And you need a little bit higher to work efficiently on it. And then we're going to just take. Alrighty, and to get this going. Just take this handle, just like an old tar pump, and just keep pushing it up and down until we see the oil flow. And I think 15 pumps or so is going good. But you can see there through the clear hose there, the oil's running. And we're going to set this timer on the iPad to see how long this does really take to drain. And we're going to hit stopwatch and start. Okay, we'll see how long it takes, and then we're going to test how much of it it did really drain out. I took, and when it quit running, it was 4 minutes and 18 seconds into it. But, now I've used this on my Toyota Sienna, it worked good. It looks like, and we're going to see how much is left, it only took a little over 2 liters out, which is basically 2 quarts, and this car holds, I do believe, 5.5, so... It's not apparently really the most effective tool on an oil change on a Taurus with this dual overhead cam engine, the door attack, but all right, have an empty pan. We're gonna slide this under the car and pull the plug and see how much does run out of it. See if I can do this one-handed. There we go. Focus here. Okay, and out she comes. And you see it's running out, and we'll see how much we do get out of it. Alright, before we dump the oil that came out of the crankcase in the extractor with the other and see our total, this car holds and get focused here. Right there it holds 5.2 liters or five and a half quarts because this is the three liter Doratec engine. It's right up to this line which is just a little over two liters. Now let me dump the rest in and see how much it didn't get. Okay, dumped the rest in, and it's about right, because I knew the car wasn't down any in oil. This is actually my mother's car. I always check the oil on that, and it don't use any. It's a little bit 
over to four liters and I haven't taken the filter off yet and that figure I showed you in the book was with the filter also changed so it'll pretty much is how much it didn't take Alex I've used this on that Toyota Sienna it got all but maybe about eight ounces out I've used it a couple times which again unfortunately didn't make a video but next time bleeding brakes it works good coolant there I've had great success but yeah this was a little bit disappointing it's just the design of the car or something maybe even a simple one I never gave that a thought to after the fact you just bumped the motor a little bit where the crankshaft or something was sitting when I went to shove the hose in thanks for watching what you basically learned in this video is how to set up use the oil extractor tool the Harbor Freight, which actually I did buy it at Harbor Freight, but it was made by uh, Holt Industries. It's actually not a bad quality product. And I say it was a little disappointing on this torus, the amount of oil was able to be pulled from it, but at least learned in the timer when I timed a little over the two quarts that came out, it was I believe four minutes and 18 seconds. Take into consideration until I got that stuff. Probably about a quarter every, yeah, a quarter and about every two minutes, which isn't bad. And I will do some other demonstrations with this on brake bleeding, coolant, and that. Next, I have used it for the others. I never made videos, but we'll be sure next time I have a need to do any of the above. And one I haven't done with it yet is the transmission fluid change. And that we definitely, that was one of the big reasons I bought the tool. I'm curious. I do have a vehicle I would like to change it in, but there's some other projects in the way first. But again, hope you like this. If you like to say, like there, be sure to hit that like button and please consider subscribing.